Hello, I'm Mini Shifu. This is my first tutorial on Source SDK Hammer. In this tutorial, I plan to teach you how to set up your hammer and how to use it to your best ability. First of all, what I want you to do, if you don't have the games, uh, I request that you must get the games to make the maps, obviously. So, you want if you want to make a map for Counter Strike, you go into Half Life 2, Episode 1. It is for me, if it's not for you, search in any other list in here and you should find it okay like I in here I've got these right second of all I, I don't really think you should be touching any of these yet you might want to experiment with these two but the one we're going to be using is hammer e editor luckily I already have one open so now we can get started this all may be a little bit confusing for anyone who's this is the first time with Source to Gamer, but luckily I'm here to teach you. Okay, I'm going to teach you through all four of these windows here, all of these buttons here, okay, and hopefully it will give you a better understanding of how to use Source to Gear Hammer. Okay, this is our selection tool here. We use it to select entities, blocks, or any other object in your game. This is the zoom button, as it kind obvious you zoom in with it on the 2D screen and this is our camera tool we use it to move around in the 3D screen this is our entity tool we use the entity tool for many things such as spawn points weapons or NPCs if you don't know what NPCs are please have a look on Google search what they are this is our block tool. We use this to create 3D objects then to manipulate them into shapes that we want. This is our texturize tool. In this tool you have millions upon millions of textures that you can choose from such as say we're gonna go for a rock and we'll find textures of rocks such as you can see. But I'm gonna be using the, the texture called Dev, 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 gen, um, Generic, Measure Generic. So I'm going to click on that and cancel. I'll be teaching you through more complex th ways about that tool there. Sorry about the webcam, but it does sometimes get in the way. Okay, for this one, this say you have a texture loaded up and you have a block. Okay. You, if you press that it will apply the texture to your block for this one say you want writing in your map it will create writing in your map and if you click on the 3d view it will basically create writing on your map I'm gonna skip this one here for now and this one is very very useful it allows you to cut objects into half or cut it down diagonally okay now this one this one can be very useful it's your vertex manipulation tool you use it to change your vertexes and move them around okay let's get on to the camera parts and 2d and the 2d views up here on my left screen left top screen I have it set as 3d textured I have it like this so then I can see the textures like this that I have in my game. On the top right I have the top X and Y. Okay? That allows me to see from the top of my map. And down on the bottom right I have the side view. This allows me to see see from the side of my map. And up on the bottom left I have the front view. This allows me to see the front of my map. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do now is basically give you a couple of tips that will help you in in your source SDK okay so we're gonna click on this tool and as you can see I already I already did it from last time so we're gonna change the size to a block like this we're going to press enter we're going to get the camera tool this one here click on here then drag across to your block and then click on the camera view on the top left use your WASD keys to move around as you can see and then look right now as you can see it's uh, 
texture that I chose before. You may not have this texture, but if you wish to get this texture, you click on here, click browse, then go for dev. You type in dev there, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see it right there. You double click on it, click apply, and cancel. Okay. Now, this ends the first my first tutorial of my Source SDK Hammer. I hope it helps and in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you through the much more a little bit more advanced such as how to texturize it the way you want, how to carve things and how to create entities. Okay, thank you for watching my first tutorial on Source SDK Hammer. It's me Chiefy. Goodbye.